Hi, on this episode of Tint TV, we are going to take you back to the performance challenge hosted by Performance Tools. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch episode 12, which kicked off this two-part series. I'm Lawrence Stridell, and this is Tint TV, the web TV show for the window film industry. This past March, we went to Performance Tools, also known as 44tools.com, and participated in their performance challenge at their new awesome facility in Dublin, Ohio. In addition to valuable networking seminars, 44 Tools hosted an auto tint competition and a flat glass tint competition. John Rumgay of tintbid.com and I were asked to be the flat glass judges. I'm going to share with you some tips from a judge's perspective so that when you enter the mother of all tint competitions, you are better prepared. Be sure to sign up for the International Window Film Conference and Tint Off being held in Baltimore this October 7th through the 9th, 2014. The International Window Film Conference and Tint Off is coming up fast. I'm Trisha Lopez, Competition Director. I receive a lot of calls with questions, so I wanted to give my top five tips preparing for this year's Tint Offs. Number one, prepare. Read the rules and regulations in annotated score sheets. Know what is being looked for. Bring your questions to the mandatory contestant meeting. Number two, know your film. We provide films from sponsoring companies, and therefore you can work with what you know. Practice the ins and outs of that specific film. Number three, relax. I know you do this all day, every day, so don't let the cameras, owners, and spectators throw you off your game. Number four, plan accordingly. Don't cut it close on your travel timing. We have had contestants stressed out due to being late, or worse, being unable to compete from missing the mandatory contestant meeting. Give yourself enough time. Number five, quality over speed. It does you no good to go so fast that you leave dirt, or worse, a finger pops. Take the extra moment and do the best job so it stays. This year is shaping up to be quite impressive, and I can't wait to see our new contestants as well as some of our returning champions on the exhibition extravaganza floor, October 7th through 9th at the Baltimore Convention Center. Be sure to sign up before August 15th when the competition registration closes. Get your tinting tools, detailing tools, and vinyl tools from 44 Tools. They also have chemicals, window films, vinyl films, and paint protection films. Go to their webpage and check out the featured product now, 44tools.com. The Galaxy is expanding. This awesome lifetime warranty color stable film has seven VLTs. Expand your good, better, best system and offer this easy to use and easy to sell window film by SolarGuard. Expand your bottom line, SolarGuard.com. John Rumgay of TintBid.com and I were asked to be the judges for the flat glass competition. The competition was set up that all tinters started out tinting solar film. This first round of tinting weeded out many of the competitors. It was a point system where each point equaled a flaw. So the fewer points you had, the better you did. We used one point for dust particles, three points for a crease or fingers, three points for leaving water on the floor, and peeling was an automatic disqualification. The next round was installing security film, and the final round was seaming a very dark film. As the tinners got better, it became harder for John and I to evaluate their work. So each flaw became more magnified and was given more points. At some point I thought that each tinner was extremely good and that I was the pickiest person ever. Judging made me a better tinner too because now I have the new respect for site cleanliness and saw some techniques in installation, cutting and seaming that I've since tried. I've been in competition too, even competing in the International Window Film Competition tint off. Competition makes you a better tenor because you learn what judges are looking for and you usually end up applying that in your own business. Watching competitions is fantastic too because you learn so much from the other competitors. So get to the next IWFC show. Zero. How many competitions have you been in? Zero. Zero competition. Well, there you go. There's his first win. Yeah. How about carry the title now? Yeah, I'll be on the Hall of Fame for a while. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, I'm Charlotte Stridell. At the Performance Challenge hosted by 44 Tools, one of the seminars that really interested me was on cross-selling. In this seminar, I found out a very important statistic that 63% of residential window film consumers also have window tint on their vehicles. So why not make it a goal to have 63% of the auto tint clients that come into your shop convert to flat glass clients? Let me share with you two ways to start converting your auto tint to flat glass tint. Number one, have marketing materials readily available. Have brochures and wall displays in your waiting room. I'm a Solar Guard dealer, so here's what their marketing materials look like. These displays are there to introduce the possibility of residential window tinting to the client as they wait for their car. Other things that you can do to set the mood is having a flat glass heat box display, have framed client reference letters, mount posters explaining the benefits of residential film, have a TV that shows video loops from your manufacturer. Lumar just came out with a great video called the Lumar Family Residential Clip, and the European Window Film Association also has some great clips on YouTube. The second thing that you should do is ask the client if they have any interest or need for residential or commercial window tint. Don't do it when they're about to leave. That doesn't allow them time to think about it and to approach you with questions. Do it either at check-in or while they're sitting in your waiting room. I've incentivized my front desk staff to approach the client 10 minutes after they've arrived and ask them if they need residential window film to present them with a brochure to read while they wait, and then ask at checkout if they would like to schedule a free at-home estimate. I pay my front desk 10 bucks for every qualified appointment they book. So I hope this gets you more business from your existing clients. Thanks for watching.